All right, let's take a look at the Canon 70D specifically for video. The 70D is an awesome upgrade from my current camera, which is the Canon 60D. And I've had previous crop sensor cameras in the Canon line, such as the T2i. This is kind of a blend of the 60D and the T5i. So just to talk about the autofocus, because I think that is the major function of the 70D or upgrade to the 70D. I think if you're looking to upgrade from, say the 60D, you know, in my case, what I upgrade, uh, maybe. If you need that continuous autofocus, then this is gonna be the camera for you. So if you're sitting in front of a camera like this, and I know a lot of video bloggers do this type of production, as well as people doing tutorials like myself, then that autofocus is a super handy feature and one that I'm gonna have a hard time living without moving forward. But when I'm sitting in front of this camera, I never have to worry about moving because it's gonna keep me in focus. Now anyone who shoots video or pictures on an iPhone or any smartphone really that has touch screen, you know how cool it is to be able to just touch the screen and whatever item you touch is then going to be put into focus. Well, that's now built into this camera. The T5i has that as well. This one does it a little bit better. It's a little more responsive, but when you combine it with the continuous autofocus of the 70D, it's virtually flawless. It certainly pulls focus better than probably you or I can do. So having the touch screen on the 70D is kind of like uh, equal to a pro camera that has a bunch of buttons on the body itself. It allows you to simply press the screen for the setting that you want to adjust as opposed to digging through the menus or even something like the 60D, you've got this quick function button that gives you access to all of the um, functions of the camera, but you still have to use the scroll wheel to cycle through the various functions. Here, if I want something, I just press the screen and I have access to selecting that menu item. If you're looking to go from the T5i or something below the 60D, you're gonna get a more professional body. It's got a nice weight. It fits your hand much better than those other cameras. They feel a little cheaper because they are. The build quality feels nice even though it's still plastic, it's pretty nice. And you're gonna get things like the LCD screen on top. I really like being able to look down there really quick and see the settings, as well as some physical buttons, like I mentioned, on the camera for ISO adjustments and autofocus adjustments. You can quickly access those through buttons. Now other features that make this better than something like a T5i would be the uh, professional battery that it has. The LPE6 in here is better than the consumer battery. It lasts longer, as well as it's easy to get to the battery compartment. You have one third ISO selections. Now all these last two, they're both on the 60D as well. So the 60D is an excellent choice of a camera still, but you can select more options for ISO, which for me is important because on the T2i, it makes these big jumps. And sometimes I want something in between and the 70D as well as the 60D gives you that. A Kelvin color adjustments, meaning I can select whatever color temperature I want, which is very important because with these cameras, they still have a high degree of compression and it really helps to get it as close to accurate, as close to perfect in the camera before you bring it into the edit because you still don't have a ton of room to push the image around in terms of using color correction and color grading. You wanna get it as close as possible in camera. That'll give you the best looking image. In addition to the buttons on top, you're also gonna get a scroll wheel. So two different ways to you know this adjust your aperture and the one on top adjusts your shutter. Whereas on older cameras like the T2i, you're gonna have to hit a button, hold it down, and then adjust with the same dial. So for me, that's a big advantage. Although I will say one complaint here, on the 70D, they've made this wheel smaller. On the 60D, it was bigger and just better. It didn't feel as plasticky as it does now. However, if you haven't used one of those past models, you'll never know the difference. A really cool upgrade that I enjoy from the 60D is white balance shift. And what that lets you do is 
dial in your color temperature, but sometimes you can't always quite get it right. So for instance, using compact fluorescent bulbs may have a slight greenish cast to them. Well, you can go into the menu and adjust which way to push your color balance. And this is really nice because again, like I said, it's important to get it right in camera and this really lets you dial in that color setting. Let's talk about audio for a second. Um, right now I'm recording audio with a lavalier microphone going directly in to the 60D. And this can be done, it's not gonna give you the best quality, but it sounds pretty good in this case. And being able to turn the preamp down via manual audio controls, which is something you're gonna get on uh, the cameras I mentioned, the 60D, 70D, uh, T5i. Being able to do that's gonna give you pretty decent audio even inside your camera. Unfortunately, they haven't put a headphone output on the 70D. It would have been really nice to have seen headphone output so you could monitor the audio. But with audio, the most awesome upgrade here is that you get audio meters on screen at all times. For producing video, it's a huge upgrade. This is the 18 to 135 STM lens. There's a couple different STM lenses and the STM lens is completely silent. So much that I had to double check several times if it was actually doing autofocus. So what's cool is you can use regular lenses on this and the continuous auto function still works. You still can put on your Canon L glass, your Sigma lenses, your Tamron lenses, whatever lens you're using that has autofocus built in, you can use it on these cameras. And it works still really well in that continuous autofocus mode. Not quite as good as the STM lens that's built for it, but it's still impressive and it's exciting that I can put on any lens I want and still get the continuous autofocus. Another huge upgrade with the 70D over the 60D or the T2i, the T5i had longer record times. You can get 30 minutes continuous clips or continuous recording time on this camera. And what it does is it actually splits the file. After four gigabytes on the 60D, it used to shut off. You had to hit the record button again. On the 70D, it just creates a new file. So you have a couple different files, but you have 30 minutes of continuous recording. If you're looking to upgrade to this for quality reasons, I think the image looks pretty good across this and the 60D. It's not enough of a reason to upgrade or buy for that reason. But the continuous autofocus the, is the overused game changer. In this camera, it's really been figured out. If that's something you need or that's something you want to use as a video shooter, then the 70D is, is for you. I hope that answers all your questions about the 70D. If it doesn't, please ask them in the comments and I will see you next time. Go.